Now we come to the question we've asked at the beginning. Prophet Yusuf a.s. He'd asked to be the minister of the budget. اجعلني على خزائن الأرض إني حفيظ عليم I am حفيظ and عليم حفيظ that I trustworthy I will keep the money the, the proper way and عليم and also knowledgeable. How can we reconcile? Put your hands, come on. Is it because he's the most fit for it and he's not fearing the dunya? So he's the fit for it and not fearing the dunya. So let's apply this. Somebody who's asking for to be the king or to be the president or to be the minister because he believes he's fit for it and he's not fearing the dunya. Is that acceptable? I don't think so. Because everybody would say, from those who want to be contending for this, ah, wallah, I wouldn't want the dunya. And I feel that I am fit for it. Now, That's a very good question, good answer. That there is no other people who are fit for this job, and he knows that because he's a prophet. You know, so there's nobody other job can fit for it. That's one answer. And now he's a prophet, he's going to take this platform for what? Dawah. Da da Allah. <laughs> he could be Dawah. Nobody knows about uh, Yusuf is to be very good into being a budget man, so he presented himself. He's not just a good in interpretation of dreams, that's what they think he is. A whole story that he's a good interpretation of dreams. Nothing but interpretive dream. They don't know that he's a prophet. Okay? So the prophet, she said, no, no, I'm good as well in budget, because he wants to be just to the poor people. And also, he's going with the interpretation of his first dream. So he could bring his brother as well. And they could bring the brothers as well when he's... So all of that is from the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Type. there's another answer as well. Which is the most important answer. Can anybody tell, give it to me? Yes. Is it Allah commanded him? Allah commands him? Not really. He had said that. If Allah didn't want him to have that, then he will not be making him to have this. He's got it, but it's not in Allah that commanded We don't have a proof that Allah commanded him. This is the most important thing. This is not our religion, is it? The religion of Ibrahim. Allah he said, for each prophet, we had made Shira or Minhaj. He's got his own Sharia, he's got his own. So the question is, because I want to, this is what I explore here. Question is, there's two sayings. Shara'u man qablana, Shara'u lana. First saying adopted by some scholars, I could say the majority of the scholars, that the shara legislation of the ones who are before us is the legislation of us unless our sharia goes otherwise. Do you understand me? Unless our sharia says otherwise. That's the first saying. So the legislation of uh, the before is our legislation. Now if we implement this, it's not going to help you with Yusuf alayhi salam. Because if it is Shara'u man qablana, yeah, well, it will. Because our Sharia now says otherwise. You know, he, he, he had asked for the Khilafah, but this is in his Sharia. Ours says otherwise, so it is not our Shara'a. Okay? That's the first saying. Second saying that adopted by Shafi'iyah and, and other scholars, and he's saying of Imam Ahmad as well, one narration of Imam Ahmad, and that is Shara'u man qablana laysa Shara'an lana. That the Sharia before is not our Shara. Except if it's synchronized with our Shara, then it's our Shara. Two different sayings. Third, third saying is that we don't we, we leave it as a side. We don't talk about it. That means we don't talk about Shara And this is the weakest. The majority, as I said, the first one, Sharu Aman Qabla and Sharu Allah. But is this the one correct? When we look at the, the Prophet ﷺ, he said, I have been sent to all nations where each Prophet sent his what? His own people. What does that mean? Can his shara, 
the one who's been sent to his people to be shut out on other people? You see the, the question? Because he said, all the prophets sent to each individual of their home people. And I was sent to everybody. So if it is case, then how can be Sharia will be fit to everybody or to our Shara? So it is, that's number one. Number two, there is nothing missing in our Sharia. Because Allah he says, Al-Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa radilakum al-Islami. Today I completed your religion and accomplished for me, for you, my favors upon you. And I chose Islam to be your religion. So our Sharia is complete. There's nothing there missing to go and uh, perfect it from other Sharia. And also Allah he said, for each one we have made a Sharia and a Minhaj. The Prophet of Allah he has been sent to everybody. So the correct opinion is the opinion of our Shaykh Al-Albani, which is the opinion of the Sheikh Shafi'iyah, and that is the Sharia of the ones before is not our Sharia. Unless it's synchronized with our Sharia, then it's our Sharia. So I don't need to know, go and uh, to need to know the Imara I'm about to be keen. So let's say, let's say that the hadith of the Prophet said, don't ask for the Imara to be a leader. And I had Isa, uh, Yusuf is asking for the Imara. I would say, that Sharia is not my Sharia. I'm not gonna take it as my Sharia. Okay, and then I'd say, well, this is my proof, Akhi. I'm gonna do and ask for the Imara because Yusuf is asking for the Imara. No, because the Sharia is Sharia, now our Sharia is a Sharia. طيب. That tells us, inshallah, that we have finished, well, alhamdulillah, the chapter regarding Al-Imara. And we're going to go to another chapter.